Hello, I'm Adam Paul Morgan. Thank you for clicking on to what is my little review of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Came out in the UK on the 14th. Uh, I didn't go to a midnight one because uh, I like my sleep, but here we go. See that there? Yep, that's it, Star Wars. Uh, diddly do, diddly do, and if you check the times there, yes, I did go and see Star Wars, so I have seen it and I know things that I'm not going to tell you. No, 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 because I don't think that would be fair. The only thing that I can tell you about the new Star Wars films is that it opens up with the Lucasfilm logo, then it comes out with Star Wars, that comes back and up in the writing, Star Wars episode, eh, blah, 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 The Last Jedi, and a load of other writing. That's all I'm going to tell you about that sort of front. But overall, my sort of opinion on the film, without giving us too much away, because I don't really want to give anything away at all, to be honest, because I don't think that's fair. Completely unexpected. I've avoided watching trailers, uh, any clips or any interviews with the cast or crew, whatever, or anything like that. I have tried really hard, and I think I've done quite well, to completely be unexpected of the story and how it went on and things like that. There was part of the films that was very surreal. I felt that there was more comical parts in this film than any other of the Star Wars uh, films, even episode one that tried to be funny with Jar Jar Binks. But this one actually was funny. I noticed quite a large group of the audience, mainly single blokes, were actually chucking along to certain comical parts of the film. And I thought that was very interesting. But to Ying and Yang that, there was very surreal parts in the story that worked. There's some new Jedi powers to come, but you'll find out what they are when you actually go and see the film. As I say, I don't really want to give too much away, as you do. But of course, there's uh, the old cast and the new cast. And of course, the old cast, there's growing up with these characters and you see them do different things from what was expected. Wow, but it worked. And the new cast as well. Even though this is a direct continuation from The Force Awakens, which, as good as it was, did feel like a remake of uh, New Hope, but this one here, it was completely different. I was half expecting going into this to experience The Empire Strikes Back all over again. Uh, but every line, I thought, okay, this is what was gonna be said next. No, it wasn't. Now, there was one sort of part of the story where they go to like a, this is a little spoiler, but not too much, a sort of gambling thing. That's all I'm gonna say, a gambling thing. Now, the whole part of that, I did feel like that was going completely away from Star Wars, but it was very, very, very important to the plot and everything. But there we go. I don't really wanna to give too much away. It's not like, I can't really do a proper review. Not like I do proper reviews, to be honest. I can't really do a a full-scale review without giving too much of the story away. But that ending, wow, it definitely now has done its thing ready for the new thing. Again, I can't even explain that too much. But it was really enjoyable and completely unexpected um, from what I was expecting, you know, sort of certain things that would happen that you'd expect to be in most films. It just really, really was unexpectedly brilliant and probably one of the best ones definitely better than the prequels but where it fits in in the order of great star wars films that is yet to be decided i'd imagine but thank you so much for clicking on i'm adam paul morgan and sir a bit and have a good one